tough result, uh, hard fought draw tonight, Pablo. Um, tonight we saw the second start by Noel Kaliskin. Talk us through his performance tonight. No, I thought I thought he did a really good job. Uh, I think Noel is a, a thinker of the game, um, and uh, did a really good job of neutralizing their midfield on defense. And uh, I, th I thought he was calm on the ball on offense. Um, and it just goes to show the jump in level where, you know, after whatever it was, 70 minutes, he starts he starts cramping. Um, and, and that is the jump from, uh, you know, MLS next to, to, to the big time. So I think that's an area that he needs to improve. But I think he, uh, you know, puts himself in the equation with the group. I thought he, he had a really good game. Yeah, and then towards the end, obviously, giving up that last game tying goal by Portland. What do you think was just lacking by that team, by the team overall? Um, well, well, again, just looking, looking back at it, uh, we had uh, numbers behind the ball um, and uh, just fell asleep on the back post. And, and, and again, I, I think the story for me is, is that we, we did a really good job uh, controlling the game, playing the game the way we wanted it to, to, to play out. Um, and it's, it's these things where in the last two games, we've given up three poor set pieces. Um, so got to go back and evaluate, like what, what, what can we do more um, in those moments in training? Um, but again, I, you know, it's, it's about experience in those moments. It's about understanding how important these moments are uh, because life doesn't tell you when you're at risk. You, you never turn your back on the ball. And we had too many guys on the corner kick turn their back on the ball. We had, uh, you know, just a, a goal go, a ball go right down the middle of the goal on, on a set piece. Uh, these, these, these moments are, are, are killing us. Um, and they're moments that are the easiest to defend because you have a chance to set up. But what's your mindset going into it? Is it a time to rest or is it a time to prepare for, th for a threat? Um, and so those are things that we'll talk about heading into next week. Thank you. Yep. Uh, you guys clinched a, clinched a playoff spot tonight with uh, Austin's loss and then with, or with, with your guys' tie tonight. Uh, fourth time in a row. Uh, you've made the playoffs all four years as, as head coach here. What do you think uh, you can attribute to that? And, and what does it mean for this club, I guess, to consistently be in that, yeah, in that race? Yeah, no, uh, you know, again, for as, for as much as, um, listen, I think the coaching has been great here. Um, and and I, I'm referencing the staff. Um, you know, in the years before, and, and even the staff, it's, it's been great. But that's really about, for me, it's all about mindset of the players. Um, it's really about commitment from the players. Um, and, and I think that's what, is special about this group. Um, players come and go. The mindset stays the same. Um, the commitment to try to be a top team in this league continues. Um, and I think that's the goal for us, is to be a perennial, uh, not only a perennial playoff team, but to play an exciting brand, to, to get results. Um, but more importantly, and I, and I, go, I say this every post game, is you want guys on the field that are going to fight for each other. And, and, and that to me is a, con is, is, is a contagion. You, and, and there's been some other performances where it's felt lifeless. Um, but these last two performances were spirited, were gritty, um, and, that, and that comes from the player's mindset. And, and, and what, the, what, because it's for as much as I want to win, right? It's, it's about what they want for their careers and what they want for their own legacy. Because these are the, these are the guys that affect results in real time. And, and you know, in the last couple of games, you see Ando and you see Crooksy and, and, and Dominic and, and, you know, Luna. You, you just you start to feel like this, this group is really um, coming into its own at the right time. And now we just got to minimize silly situations that we have complete control over. Um, but so I, I, attribute, I attribute it to the guys. Um, that, that, that really enjoy being with each other, that work hard for each other, and that want to be better footballers every single day. I think you might have kind of, kind of answered it there at the end, but is there anything about this game that's going to keep you up tonight that just thinking about? No, 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 no. Uh, it's the, the universe. You know, you, you put in an equation. It's like, it's, like it's, it's like an equation. You put in said, no, said players on the field, uh, said situations, and it computes – it spits out whatever whatever it is, you know. And so, I think I think for and and that's why I always talk about mentality, and and because at the end of the day, if you're if you're alert, if your mind is right, if you believe, if you fight, um, you always have a chance in this league. 
Um, and so as far as keeping me up at night, it's just thinking about what exercises we can put together to mimic, which you, it's impossible to mimic fatigue, um, the nerves, the, 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 the amount of pressure. And that's always the toughest part. Because uh, when we do set pieces, they're great. But they don't do it after they ran back 70 yards. They don't do it when uh, you're up 2-0. They don't do it. You can't mimic that part of stuff. So what I'm going to ask is more leadership in those moments um, to make sure that um, if we get beat on the run of play, those are tactical adjustments you can make. This is more being dialed in in the moment. So I, I would say that, if, if anything, that. that. Marchuk had the assist and was really emotional. And then the way he went out and played tonight, some of the touches, some of the passes, obviously the goals, you see the confidence building in him. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, again, Dominic for me is, uh, you know, I, I think he's a, a lot like Andres, but um, I think he's acclimating a little bit quicker. Um, his role is so comfortable to him. He's making good decisions on the ball. Um, he has ideas for, uh, from that wide position. And I, I think when you score and assist, you, you start building this confidence and that you belong. It's the easiest way to ingratiate yourself into the group is, is to produce on the uh, offensive side. But I'd also add to that, his defensive work rate is top notch. And he's honest as the day is long. And when you put those things together, you have a fantastic teammate and a fantastic player. You've talked about Diogo's quality. Was that on full display in that goal? Uh, I think so. I, I think you know he had, a, he had another one that uh, another great opportunity. And again, I think that's his class. And, and it's, and, you know, it's, it, it's definitely a performance to build on. I think it gives him confidence within the group. Um, and, and that's great, because at the end of the day, we want our tens to all be flying and all be competing for those spots. You know, we don't want anything given here. We want, we want, we want, we want 11 dogs. You know, and, and I, ideally we have 20 dogs on, the, on, on game night. And those guys come in and, and do their thing. It felt like you had the 11 dogs in the first half, the number of negative passes that you forced them to make back into their own half. But did it feel like that after the substitution started at the hour mark? No, it didn't, DJ. Um, and that's something that, you know, we have to look at and address as well. Um, and that, that, that's, that, that's really the the toughest things, the the toughest pill to swallow, I think, for me. We can talk about set pieces and this, and we, we will get better at that, and we will be dialed in. But um, it just felt like we lost a little bit of our umph in the pressing uh, when the changes were made. Um, and so that's the reality of it. That's that's. Um, I'm gonna leave that for uh, Tuesday. And uh, and and you know, and and again, I think for for it must be so annoying for for you guys to sit here and listen to me talk about mentality and fight and how important defending is from the front because mentality of our team always starts at the front and when the commitment is there you see the eight guys behind that working their tails off and we're winning balls and creating great opportunities when that's not there it's almost like we're in disarray we're waiting for it we're not getting it so um again there's uh there's, there's a few things to, to nibble on as, as we head into next week. But, but again, I'm really proud of, uh, of the performance tonight um, and just so unfortunate that the two set pieces kind of led us astray. Anderson Julio, I know there's 11 dogs, but sometimes it seems like there's a bigger dog out there. Does he just key, a press, key the press in the way nobody else on the team does? Yeah, and, and maybe and no, I don't think there's another person in the league that presses like he does from the front. I, I really don't. And it's not like he doesn't do it because he's being told. He does it because he wants the team to win and he knows how important his role is. You know, and, and then when you put whatever goals that he has, ten goals and however many assists, I mean he is for the way we want to play, he's prototypical striker. Right? He's a guy that just never quits. And and again, I think when we hurry teams, it's it's difficult to play. It's difficult, and then you have ten dogs behind you. It's difficult, and and not only it's difficult to, for for us to, for teams to play through us, but it's it also rewards us with opportunities in front of goal because their teams are expanded and they want to you know, and so we have, we're always facing a disorganized defense. You got four points out of the last three games in these eight days and gave up nine goals. I know the 
players and you like to talk about hoisting trophies, but defensively, this club doesn't look anything like what it looked like back in the spring and early summer. I think you're spot on, DJ. Uh, you can't concede three goals a game. You just can't, you know, and that's another area that we're going to have to address. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know what to tell you, it, it, but you're absolutely right. You cannot hoist anything when you're taking three every game or two every game. It's just not, it's, at this level, it's impossible. Uh, and again, the hardest thing to do in soccer is to score goals. It's the hardest. That's why typically games are 1-0, 2-1. But when you're you know, kicking two in your back of your own net, it makes it extreme. There's, there's no attack that's going to be good enough to win, to win a trophy like that. Thanks, Pablo. Thanks, guys.